For my third trick tonight, I have this one here. Um, this is uh, something I've never tried before, and it's a full bottle. It has a magnetic. See, it's magnetic like this. Um, which is a little bit fun to play with. But you open that up and you get this here. It's the Tullibardine, the Murray. The Murray. Let's pull the bottle out of here and have a look at it. Ooh. There's even velvet lining. It's a fancy box. It's, uh, let's pour a gram before I get into the, the, the stuff about this fancy box. This is the Murray. Now, I've had Tullibardines before, and most Tullibardines that I have had, uh, they were finished in wine casks of some kind. Uh, some more successfully than others. Uh, but this is another Tullibardine. I don't know enough about it, but I'm going to find out, I suppose. Whoa, that was not much of a pop at all. It's a loose cork. Pour us a quick sized dram. Okay. It says here, Tullibardine de Murray, Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, cast strength non chill filtered, distilled in 2004 and bottled in 2016. So we're talking 12 years old. It's from the Marquess or the Marquess Collection, Tullibardine Distillery Company, Blackford, Perthshire. Distilled and bottled in Scotland, alcohol 56.1% by volume. 56.1. This limited edition cast strength release has a wonderful assortment of aromas, perfectly weighted and balanced. Okay, I'm not going to say what they are. Wine bow, what is that? Okay, what does it say on the box? Well, we will let, let this potent liquid sit here and open up. Yeah. It says the same thing here, Marquis Collection. Or is it Marques? I guess Marques. Cast strength, non chill filtered, distilled in 2014, 2004, bottled in 2016, drop of pure Highland gold, product of Scotland. Uh, what's it say here? The Tullibardine Marcus collection celebrates our heritage and strong link with the hamlet of Tullibardine. There have been many famous figures bearing the title of Marquis of Tullibardine for centuries. Sir William Murray was the second Marquis, Marquis of Tullibardine who fought in the first Jacobite rebellion at the Battle of Sheriff Muir in 1715. In 1745 he was chosen by Bonnie Prince Charlie to unfurl the royal standard at Glen Finnan, announcing the prince as the rightful king of Scotland. 
from our stills to barrel to bottle, this is classic Tullibardine that has spent all of its life in first fill bourbon barrels. This is the first release of a Tullibardine made this century at cast strength. Huh. Cool. Very cool. What did this set me back? Looks like it's expensive. <laughs> Not bad at all. Here it says Beacon Landing. That's the store. Telebardine Murray, $108.61. 10 cent bottle deposit. $7.50 off with 500 points. Okay, so I have like a membership at this store. So, so subtotal $101.21. Goods and services tax is five dollars and forty-three. Liquor tax ten dollars and eighty-six. Total one hundred seventeen dollars and fifty cents out the door. Nice. Okay. Not bad. One hundred seventeen dollars and fifty cents for such a fancy box. And a regular looking bottle. Have another look at it here. Yeah. I guess it's time to nose it. Excuse me. Oh, that is nice. Highland and Bourbon Barrel and Cast Strength. Ah. And it's 11 or 12 years old, so that's all right. Ah. I'm getting some caramel and some vanilla, as you can expect from a bourbon barrel. Quercus alba, white American oak. A little bit of an alcohol burn too, being at 56%. I predict that this will need some water. But let's have a look at the legs. Hmm. Do that again. Some of them come down slowly. Mm. Caramel, vanilla, and burn. A little bit of a uh, A pear note. Get some pear from it.
Let's give it a taste. Mm. High ABV. Very high ABV. Pears and burn. That's what I'm getting. Pears and alcohol burn. I think this is going to need a fair amount of water. Yeah, let's give it, give it, give it a whole spoon. Yeah. I think that may have taken some of the burn away. Pears. Not overly complex. Okay. Some pears and a little bit of milk chocolate. Let's give it some more water. Maybe a half a spoon this time. Okay. This is more drinking strength. burning the back of my mouth. Okay. Milk chocolate on the nose. A little bit of pear. quite subtle, not getting much else. I get some pear, a little bit of cherry, maraschino cherry, mouth watering. And still quite an alcohol burn. Bitterness towards the end. Non chill filtered, uncolored. Still kind of pale.
a little bit of milk chocolate, some burn, tiny little bit of cherry, and quite a lot of bitterness, quite a lot of tannins towards the end. I don't know. Seems to me like this is coming from tired old barrels. Or not very good ones. A little bit of milk chocolate on the nose. But really, A little bit of pear, and then the finish is bitter, bitter tannins. A little bit of milk chocolate in there too, but really, really, I have had Tullibardines before, but Now I understand, perhaps, why they use all those wine finishes. It's to cover up. This. This uh, bitterness. Bitterness on the finish. Really. I was expecting a lot more from this. From the fancy packaging. The velvet in here. The, the magnetic closing I'd say that most of the money went into the box rather than into the whiskey that's contained in there for a hundred bucks they could have had less box and more whiskey cast strength yeah it's strong it burns unless you add a lot of water to it you taste a bit of pear, a little bit of milk chocolate, a hint of cherry. And on the finish. Alkaline mouthfeel, yeah. Slippery mouthfeel. But on the finish, it's bitterness and tannins. To me, the quality's not there. We'll see what happens to this bottle as it opens up, as it oxidizes somewhat. It's 12 years old, so it's not incredibly ancient. It might get better. Yeah, this might still be closed up quite a bit, like a lot of other bottles that I open up and they just don't do it for me. I'm hoping that with time the bitterness in the finish will go away. The pear and that hint of cherry will get stronger 
and we get a little bit of caramel and some vanilla to it. But as it is right now, it's pretty sad. Anyway, I'm going to drink to your very good health. Slanchua. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>